Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable the Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab, over here select disable Steam input. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can even try enable Steam input and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to disable steam input and then connect controller using the usb cable and then launch the game so for this uh, you can first of all disable the steam input controller tab disable the steam input now once you disable the steam input now connect your controller using the usb cable and then launch the game next step is to enable controller in sound control panel now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on sound over here now connect your controller using the usb cable so i'm connecting the controller now controller using the usb cable you will see your controller over here here you can see dual sense wireless controller make a right click and then if this is disabled you have to first of all enable it so make sure that it is enabled in my case it's already enabled so i see disable option so if you see the enable option enable it and then make a right click and then click on configure con uh, configure speaker and then select quadraphonic and then you can click on next put a check on front left and right surround speaker put a check on both the boxes then click on next and then click on finish and then click on OK and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to unplug all the external devices which are you uh, which is connected to the computer. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of any kind of external mouse connected, disconnect additional USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect additional controls. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, dongle connected, disconnect the dongle disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vjoy etc you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game and then check next step is to launch steam in big picture mode so go to steam at the top right over here you can see big picture mode icon so click on enter big picture mode icon now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working the next step is to update controller using xbox accessories app or playstation accessories app and then check now for this um, if you don't have xbox accessories app installed on your computer open microsoft store and then type in xbox accessories app install it in my case it is already installed so once installed you can open it now once you open it connect your controller using the usb cable make sure that you connect your controller using the cable to the computer and once connected you will see three dots highlighted over here click on three dots over here you will see update now option if there is any update you will see update now option in my case it's already updated so let the update complete once it is updated now you can launch the game and then check now still not working then the uh, now for xbox uh, sorry for playstation controller user uh, you can use playstation accessories app now if you don't have it installed in that case you can uh, install it you can go to playstation website and go to playstation website and then you can install this download for windows run this exe file install it and once installed uh, you can just launch xbox accessories app in my case it is already installed launch it and connect your controller now if there is any update you will see update option in my case it's already up to date so you can update your controller and then you can launch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to use wired connection so if nothing is working uh, you can connect your connect your controller using the usb cable and then 
once you have the wired connection, you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.